Rewired is a short documentary series meeting fighters who wasn't raised in the sport and had to rewire their minds to having a fighting mentality. In the first episode, we meet up with Josh Dean from 12 Gauge MMA. Uh, my name's Josh Dean and I fight at a 12 Gauge MMA in Stockport. So, have you got a fight coming up? Yeah, I've got a fight in uh, four weeks now uh, on FCC in Liverpool um, at 74 kilos. So it's a new weight class for me, but um, not too much higher than I usually fight at a lightweight. Nice. Uh, do you know your opponent yet? Yeah, he's called Kyle Leach. Um, he's just fought at welterweight. He's quite tall, quite big, uh, looks tough, um, got some good skills, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, what, what, what exactly did you do before MMA? Uh, I played rugby all my life, um, played at an alright level, um, but from being completely honest, like, I chucked away all my chances. Um, I had good chances when I played at like, academy level, uh, managed to play for Ireland at student level and just didn't really work hard enough. Um, and then it was sort of lockdown that guided me into this sport. Um, and then. The rest is history, really. Right. So, have you, was you a fan of MMA before? Yeah, what, massive. What to pursue it, kind of. Yeah, been a massive fight fan uh, forever. Like, I used to watch boxing with my dad. Um, he used to get his mates around and, you know, put a few pizzas on, buy all the pay-per-views, and um, we'd watch all the big fights. And I'd watch the Ultimate Fighter growing up and the odd UFC where I could. And um, so, it's always been something that's been a big part of my life, and I've always been a big fan of it. Yeah, um, it was before that really like, um, I sort of, I was overweight like, and really just doing nothing with my life and um, stuck in lockdown and it was a bit of a strange spiritual moment. I just thought I need to do this now because it's always something I've wanted to do. Um, so I waited until the gym was about to reopen, uh, pestered Matt on Instagram so much, um, messaging him, when, when can I get in, when can I get in? Uh, jumped on the beginners course here and then came to every other session I could. Um, it was around September 2020, um, I, I believe. Yeah, September 2020. Um, and we were just doing bag sessions for months on end, just during lockdown, in and out of lockdown. And I'd do all the Zoom sessions as well. Um, but as soon as I came in, I was hooked. Um, and I knew this, this was going to be my life. Yeah. Can you tell me about, because obviously the documentary is called Rewired. Um, yeah how like you've had to change your mentality going into a fighter from just being yeah. normal yeah every I've changed my mentality in terms of um, it's a lifestyle now I work hard um, I try and do everything I can whereas before when I played rugby or in any other job or at uni I'd do the bare minimum I'd scrape by you know I'd have potential in things but I just I wouldn't fulfill it and go that extra mile whereas now I'll get in early, I'll leave late, uh, I'll try and eat right, I'll do all the right things, I'll watch tape, um, I'm obsessed with it and it, it's toughened me up and it's made me grow up as a man, um, spiritually it's made me a better person, um, yeah I've had to, I've had to really reevaluate um, decisions I've made before but I think timing's everything and I might have come into the sport a little bit later but it's the perfect timing in terms of my attitude and um, outlook on the fight game um, and I think it's going to set me in good stead in future. So, speak about future, where do you see yourself in the next, where do you see yourself in the next five years or so? Yeah, uh, I don't want to rush the process whatsoever, you know, I think um, the end goal would be to get to Cage Warriors and then from there try and get in the UFC. I think if, if that's not your goal, to be one of the best in the world, then why are you doing this sport? You know, it's, it's unforgiving, it's relentless, you've got to give up your life, you've got to sacrifice, you've got to work really hard, you've got to put yourself through some uh, tough days, tough sessions and it's a massive ego check nearly on a daily basis so if that's not where you want to see yourself what are you doing you know it's, it's not the sport to do for a laugh and um, you've got to do it because you love it and you want to see yourself as one of the best in the world and that's where i want to go and if i don't get there fair enough but i'll be striving and working as hard as i can to get there 